Hey my legion, how y'all doing today? Uh, I'm back with another Wegmans review. And I haven't been a Wegmans in a long time. Uh, basically because, I mean, they're expensive. They have a lot of, uh, even before the, you know, the food shortage and stuff like that, they've always been expensive for a while. And it used to not be like that, because I remember in the 90s, we had like the Wegmans uh, club card, and we used to go to the one in Erie, and then the one, uh, Near that one Walmart, uh, near the doctor's office, too. That used to be a Walmart and a Wegmans. I, I, I assume it's still around. And, uh, these are not, we used to go there all the time. It wasn't, I didn't think it was price at all. And then we stopped, and then we went back there. And it just was completely different. It was more expensive, I guess. And, like I said, I haven't been there in a while, and they have a lot of prepared food. My friend John, uh, said that he overbought, and he said he, that he wanted to know if I had enough room for a couple items. I said, sure. So they gave me two pasta items. And like I said, when I was uh, talking about expensive stuff, when I did that, uh, that, what, the pot stickers, uh, uh, pork pot stickers, there was like a thing of five of them for like, like six dollars. And then there was a sauce dipper thing in there, like a teriyaki sauce thing. Where, and they charged me, they charged me for the price of the thing for like five nine. And then they scanned the saucer dipper thingy that was in that container. Already with a prepacked food for and they charged me another dollar and then John said they did that to him, too It's outrageous, but he got something with two different sauces and they charge him a dollar for each sauce But I mean, if it's in the case that you come with the price of the meat, you know what I mean? Well, anyways, this is spaghetti. I'll show you how expensive this is spaghetti and meatball Tiny possible right here. And this was nine bucks for that. So I mean it's expensive, but I want to thank John for letting me to get these to me I, I have no problem with these, you know they are good. Well, hopefully. I haven't had spaghetti and meatballs in a while. Not bad. The noodles are al dente. They're not super soft, what I like. And you don't want them to be soft, like mush. Now, the sauce is okay. That's all right. The spaghetti and the sauce, about seven and a half out of ten. Let's try the meatballs. I love meatballs. Well, I like the meatballs. The meatballs are a nine out of ten. So, I mean, it's still pricey. I wish they stopped that practice of, like, if I see, like, any type of prepared thing and there's, like, a sauce pack with, like, a barcode in there, I don't get it. Because they're charging an extra dollar or two just for that little thing of sauce. I remember when I did that, I reviewed that a few years back. Outrageous. It's still expensive, but not bad. I, I mean, totally. Yeah, totally, dude. I give it like a eight and a half out of ten. So I want to thank you, John, for uh, for giving me this. And he gave me another one, too. I'll be probably reviewing later in the week. Because it's like perishable stuff. Along with, I'll mix it in with the Dunkin' Donuts reviews. Probably put this up Tuesday. Hope you like this review of Wegmans. Spaghetti and meatball, Italian possible for nine bucks. I mean, they do have specials in there, Wegmans and stuff, but I mean, they're still uh, pricey, though. But I like their food for the most part. I mean, that's why I usually go to Walmart. Walmart's still, they call it Wally World, a little pricey. And then I would talk about, I haven't been to Giant Eagle in a while. I may actually check out Giant Eagle, maybe. I don't know. But my freezer is all the way full, so I don't have to worry about anything for a while. So, hope you like the video, everybody. Till next time, please. Take care of my legion.